Hi guys, it's Morgan, and it's the second day of LeakyCon 2019 in Boston. Uh, who's, I've always, always been a Ravenclaw. Uh, um, uh, I am definitely a Ravenclaw. I'm full of useless trivia. <laughs> I'm great on a pub quiz team. Um, yeah. Um, and then the new Wizarding World app came out, what, like a week ago, two weeks ago? Um, and I'd lost my pot and more credentials. So I read it, and apparently I'm Hufflepuff, but I don't know. Oh, wow. Interesting. I love Hufflepuffs, but I don't really see myself as Hufflepuffs, so. Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws are in common. This is they're both very hardworking, diligent people. Yeah. Maybe that's why. And one gets. <laughs> the Hufflepuffs are much more patient. Me, though, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw. How about you, Luke? Um, I played a Gryffindor, and I did, um, I did the sorting hat on Pottermore, and I actually am a Gryffindor as well. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I think it's because I just like winning all the time. <laughs> I just do it every year, so. <laughs> yeah, Gryffindor, all the way. Greatly enjoy winning. Greatly enjoy winning. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but how about you, Stan? Well, I'm a dumbstrung. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. If he was at Hogwarts, what do you think he would be? I've always wondered test. that. So, um, I came out to be a Slytherin. I've done it twice, so it's confirmed. <laughs> Dan, have you ever have you ever told us your house? Oh, so I, um, yeah, I, I, I did the test and I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff. So, um, I went to uh, the uh, Warner Brothers studio tour and they had the hat there. And uh, so I was like, all right, let me try this. And they put it on my head and it was just a mm, gripping good. And I was like, what? I was like, really? Okay. And, so then, and then I start walking away, and then uh, five seconds later, I just hear, mm, gripping you, just over and over. It was just stuck on him. <laughs> it just had it on a loop, so. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm Hufflepuff in my heart. Louie, where do you land? Um, I, I, have, I have done the test. Um, I have done the test twice. It's to stand, but uh, once was a Gryffindor. Um, and the other was my house of Slytherin. And I definitely believe my personality in the muggle world is a split between the two, 100%. Yeah. Misunderstood, but then at the same time, a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We know that an Obscurus is kind of called like a dark twin to whoever they're hosting. So, it, and now we know apparently this connection to the Dumbledores. Um, is he Ariana's dark twin? And like, is this potentially the Obscurus that detached from Ariana and is now like creating another being? So he literally is just an Obscurus, but he's like created Credence basically. And so like that is his persona. Somehow become corporeal, you're saying? Yeah. It's not like Credence was a baby who was born and then right. Ariana's Obscurus came into Credence. Yeah, I was kind of thinking like, is he literally just the Obscurus, but he's like it's fascinating become this being. Uh, and so if you've ever wondered what a time turner actually is, it is an hour reversal charm that is encased in an hourglass. So it's actually a pretty simple design. Um, and what's also interesting to note about the books is that the, if you use a time turner, you go back to where you were at the time you're going back to. So it moves you in time and space. In the movies, it moves you just in time. So if I was standing here going back to yesterday, I would be here even though this is my first time in this room in actuality. Yeah. Makes sense. We all understand. Okay, so that's, the, those rules are bad. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna talk about that for a second. Uh, it doesn't make sense for it to move you in time and space. Like generally, I feel like we'd agree that the books, they're great, that's the correct canon. The movies don't necessarily make 
uh, it, as an overall better, but this is the thing, this is a moment where the movie was like, better. Mm -hmm. ...to the fountain and bathe in it, receiving fair fortune evermore. So on this day, hundreds of people lined up to do so, and basically someone's like, the, the gates are of magic from the garden just like yank someone in and they're like, go, see if you can get to the fortune, have fun. And that's the day. So there's these three witches out there. One is named Asha, she is sick. Althea, who has been robbed, and Amata, who is deserted by man. I'm very thankful that there's three witches that all have like the same name in the story, yeah. so that the whole time I had to read it, I'd be like, the sick one, right, okay, <laughs> the, the robbed one, got it, yes. Ah, the one deserted by a man. Deserted by a man, or does it just yeah. a, a man? A man, recently dumped. had, dumped. yes, okay. tragically dumped. <laughs> So they agree that they're going to flip the script on this and they're all going to try to enter together. So they'll all hold hands so that if one gets chosen, they'll all get chosen. And then they'll just have uh -huh. to figure it out when they get to the fountain at the end, I guess. <laughs> so I wish I knew what was going on. Oh, don't worry. Dumbledore will save the day. Good. <laughs> so they, they go in, but unfortunately, one of them gets yanked. And one of the robes uh, from, see, even my notes I have who, one of the witches whose name starts with A, his robe gets tugged on this guy named Sir Luckless, and he's the best. <laughs> this guy's incredible. He lives up to his name so well. So they all get in, and right away, they're all mad. They're like, how could you do this? Yeah. You've brought a fourth per person into the mix. A fourth person into the mix. <laughs> and now we've, got, now we've got to figure it out. Also, he's a man. We had a deal. What are we doing? And he's just like, I didn't even want to do this like he says it's okay i'll leave and they're like no you're a knight you gotta help us out and he's like i promise i'm it doesn't I'm sound like he's gonna be a great knight with no him, so his luckless. name is sir luckless yeah <laughs> like it's not not great so, um, <laughs> yeah. arthur weasley a uh, scottish head of gryffindor uh godric gryffindor oh it turns into, turns into woman a oh <laughs> minerva mcgonagall yeah. okay. uh, pass Oh, uh, uh, Colin's brother. Colin's Aww. brother, little brother. Oh, what was his name? Like Niles or something? Yes. <laughs> uh, Marope's fa father. Father, brother. Uh, Marfalo? The other one. If you wanted more, oh, damn it. That's a pass. Uh, 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 Harry's mom. Lily. Yeah. Last yeah. ended screwed. Last ended screwed. Is that on the board? Um, <laughs> Um, Cornish Pixies? Cornish Pixies, you say. Cornish Pixies, is that on the board? Uh, 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 the rules okay. of this game are so, like, okay. No, that was our bad. I'll explain later. Weirder things have happened in this game. Okay. It's what people say, not what the answer is. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not whether it's right or wrong, it's what a hundred people decided might be. Often, that ha often that's like, what's in the movies? The transcontinental uh, uh, <coughs> wax and food podcast. I hear they're only £5.99 in, in the, well, $5.99. That's cheaper than uh, regular pop tarts. Definitely. I gotta say, the price point is definitely... All right, well, that seems we're coming to an end. So, uh, listeners out there, thank you for listening to another episode of this cast. Stay waxy. <laughs> Over and out. Yes. Yeah. Now, what are your other, what, yeah, have you, have you made any other pasties besides pumpkin pasties? Because here on our show, we like to talk about all sorts of flavors of uh, yeah. pasties, so. What did you tell us? <laughs> yes, I made an, an apple cider paraffin one once. Ooh. And, um, it wasn't as good as the wax, but and it but it was better in a decent lobster bisque. In decent lobster bisques, you go paraffin, you don't go wax. Oh, that's very good to know. But for excellent, excellent lobster bisques, you go uh, keratin. Oh wow! The the broom that Harry gets in the first book. Nimbus two thousand. The one that he that the Slytherins get in the next book. Nimbus two thousand and one. Yeah, the tiara is also called a. Uh, I did. Uh, uh, the things that are on, uh, that are on everybody's uh, lanyard, yeah, name no, tag no, no, below it, that Chris has. Oh, rip, uh, house ribbon, lanyard. Something ribbon. Ribbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing that Harry gets telling him he can go to school. Hogwarts letter. Uh, this might be too long of a, ta a thing. Uh, where the people in blue and gold go to sleep. Ravenclaw Tower. Yep. The title <laughs> character. <laughs> the titular <laughs> character. Uh, oh, Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs>
Skip. Let's do it. Denise, far too young to have a boyfriend. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's totally clear, so